Hi guys, this is lesson number 71 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to print multiple ID card in one A4 paper using print merge. In our previous lesson, we learned how to use print merge and create multiple ID in Coral Draw. This is the file I use. You can see that we have here four ID card, page number one, two, three, and four. And our paper size, it is A4. If I will go to the print preview, this how the card will be printed on A4 paper. It's okay if you have three, four, five card and you are going to print this way on the A4 paper, meaning to say single card in one page. But if you have card more than 10, 20, 30, in that case, if you will print one card in one A4, it will be waste of paper. There is a way that using print merge, you can create multiple card and set them on single A4 paper. So let's go back. I will close the print preview. I have another ID card that I designed previously. This card we will use for this lesson for practice. Here our document size is A4, but our card size, if I will click on this uh, basic shape, you can see 3.375 by 2.125. The technique is we need to resize our document with the card size. Our document is A4, so we are going to resize our document with our card size that is 3.375 by 2.125 and hit enter. Now you can see the document it is exactly with the size of our card. I am going to select the ID and snap it from the corner. To create multiple ID card it is the same technique that we use in our previous lesson. We will import Excel file using print merge. So here I have Excel file. In this file I have 12 students record. This file we are going to save it as a CSV. To do that we need to go to the file, save as. We are going to save on desktop under project file. Same name but we will change the extension csv comma delimited so click it and click on save the file has been saved switch back to the coral draw let's import that file using print merge click on file print merge and create load print merge click on import file our file is on the desktop in project file folder here we cannot see we need to change the extension to csv comma separated file and now here you can see the file click it and click open so here you can see all the students record appear under print merge simply click on finish and here we have print merge dialog box and in this area we have all the fields in our previous lesson exercise number 70 we already learned how to import picture if you are using print merge but once again I will repeat the process here we have a rectangular box this is simple rectangle shape and we apply roundness to the corner and here we give the outline thickness 1.5 we need to convert this rectangular box to picture frame and this all we need to do before we perform the print merge so this picture frame will appear in all our ID cards. To do that, we need to right click, frame type, create empty power clip frame. Now one by one, we can insert all the fields. Click on student's name and insert selected field. Date of birth. class here we have address and the last one is mobile number select all the fields resize to 9 and now we can adjust Once 
once again select all of them and press L from the keyboard to make left alignment. This is the time we are going to perform print merge. Simply click on merge to new document. Coral Draw created new document named print merge 1 having 12 pages. Each page is having different record you can see here. Now we are going to import the picture. I'll click on file, import. Here I have only four simple clip art for demonstration purpose I saved but in your case you will import all the students pictures. So I will select all of them and another thing here you need to name each picture the way you have in Excel sheet. The first one is Oliver, 1 Oliver, 2 Amelia, 3 William, 4 Sophia and if I will go in the Excel sheet and you can see that here we have same number sequence and students name. We need to do that so once we will import in Coral Draw, Coral Draw will maintain the same number sequence you have already in the print merge. So click on import and simply click and drag your image in front of the picture frame. Go to the second page and now you can see that our mouse is loaded with the Amelia image and this card is for Amelia. Third page this card is for William and with my mouse pointer it is showing this image is for William 3 William JPEG. The fourth one is for Sophia and this card is for Sophia. This way we can import all the way. I have only four images for demonstration purpose and each is placed in the specific card. Now we will go back page number one and we can close the print merge dialog box. Here you need to click on the image and slightly move so it will go inside picture frame. Now here you have option you can see once the picture frame is selected power clip feature is active and from this drop down you can choose fill proportionally this way. Go to the next page click on drag and click on fill proportionally. We can click on fit proportionally also but sometime if the image proportion and the picture frame is not same it might give space white space around. So it's good idea to click on fill proportionally. The third image click and drag slightly and then click here and fill proportionally. So this how you will import the images. Now it's time to print. So go to the file and click on print preview. As of now you can see the card it is in the center of our page and our page size it is letter size. It depends on your printer specification and setting. You can set your paper to A4. Here I will click on setting in general. I can show you with the Microsoft print to PDF for demonstration. Click on setting and here we have paper size. Click OK. Now we have A4 paper. So the cart is exactly in the middle. So we are not going to do anything here. And click on M position layout tool. Now here we have number of column and rows. So I am going to set column 2 and rows 4. So you can see that this how we have layout for our ID card. 8 ID card will be printed in one A4 sheet. Edge to edge. If you want you can add spacing also. You can click on mark placement tool and you can see the preview here. We have 12 cards. So in the first paper we have 8 and in the second sheet we have 4. We'll go back once again click on M position layout tool. Here we have predefined layouts also you can check. You can see that so any one of them 
you can select which is suitable for your card size you can apply and you can manually also set here second thing here we have option that you can set the spacing you can click on this last option and now you can see we have a cutter and we can set the space the vertical cutter it is selected make sure cut location it is enabled and here you can give the spacing let's say 0.1 So you can see that here we have spacing. Now we can select from this side, but make sure that cutter appear. So click again and now set here point 0.1 and hit enter. So we have spacing vertically and horizontally. Now let's go back to the mark placement tool. And if you want to see the marking, you need to click on print crop marks. So here you can see 0.1 inch spacing with the crop marks this how in one a4 paper 8 id card will be printed since we have only 12 card so in the next page we have layout for four so instead of printing 12 card in 12 a4 sheet we can print all in two a4 papers once again if you want to print multiple card in one a4 paper you need to resize your document with the card size meaning to say coral draw document will be with the card size and we will set our paper in the printer property so this way we can print multiple id card in one a4 paper that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you